state of emergency, two senior judges of the Supreme Court have been put under arrest because they ordered the release of uh, political prisoners and they, they were building up a case for setting aside the appointment of the president of the Maldives. And now it seems that the president has modified his earlier order and he has actually lifted the suspension on uh, the powers of the Supreme Court. At the same time, the remaining judges have modified an earlier order and annulled the portion on the release of political prisoners. So big developments taking place. India has uh, put out a statement saying it's very concerned about the blatant flouting of rule of law in uh, Maldives, the US, the UN Secretary General, Germany, Russia. They've all put out statements expressing concerns and they hope that uh, the Constitution and the Supreme Court of Maldives would be respected. Republic TV spoke to the spokesperson of President Yamin and this is what he told us. The Supreme Court justices uh, were, are being investigated for uh, corruption allegations. Uh, they, um, um, the, uh, the executive uh, tried to pursue these uh, allegations, investigations of these allegations uh, without uh, imposing a state of emergency, but uh, every such attempt was uh, thwarted by uh, judicial privilege. And as such, uh, the, uh, the executive had to implement a state of emergency uh, in the country in order to uh, properly investigate uh, these allegations. Now, the, uh, no restrictions of movements are in place. People are able to move around freely in the Maldives. There are no curfews. Daily life goes on. Uh, children are going to school. Businesses are operating. Flights are uh, coming in and out of the country. Uh, travel within the country is also unrestricted. But Mr. Shehab, isn't this a desperate yes. attempt by the president to stay in power by hook or by crook? This is not a second guessing of a judicial order. This is an unprecedented uh, judicial order. Uh, there has never been um, a, a judicial order by the Supreme Court that uh, would revisit a decision that has been made by the Supreme Court. Now, uh, some of the individuals that are being uh, are, um, that have been. Um, suggested to be uh, that has been instructed to be released and retried have in fact been released by the Supreme Court. Would you would you want India to actually send an envoy to put pressure on the Maldivian government to respect the rule of law and to respect human rights? The Maldivian government absolutely respects the rule of law. Um, and it is up to the Maldivian people and its institutions to ensure that the rule of law is maintained. Um, and we do not feel, uh, the executive does not feel that at this time outside intervention is warranted at all. Uh, we have a, a separation of powers, we have a judiciary, we have a legislature, we have uh, an executive. The executive respects the uh, powers of the uh, uh, the the uh, separate states, and we will um, look to implement any lawful uh, constitutional uh, rulings. Uh, rulings. All right, uh, we continue to monitor the situation in Maldives very, very closely. India has warned its citizens not to travel to Maldives, and uh, even those there right now have been asked to remain on alert and be in touch with our mission there in Mali. Uh, let's.